Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a q and I don't think I've ever done a q and a with just me. So I told y'all on Instagram, ask me any and everything. I'm going to try and answer most of the questions or a good bit. I just posted the poll like 30 minutes ago. So we're gonna see what's there. And I told you guys don't hold back. Also, I'm gonna be sharing a very exciting collab that I've been working on for literal months. So stay tuned for the try on and dozens reaction. But yeah, let's get right into it don't forget to comment like and subscribe okay let's get to it i don't know why i feel like i'm about to get interrogated like this feels so like up close and personal i'm just like sitting like smack dab in the middle by the way because i already know this is one of the questions my hair situation i'm wearing extensions i get what they call like a beaded weft extension so like all of your natural hair is out but then they like bead in the extensions it's like permanent clip-ins anyway just a quick little tidbit in case you're wondering because i feel like i get that question so many times the first question i'm like y'all ask me anything like any and everything and it's like if you were a rapper what would be your name instantly it's gonna be kate thugga like whenever <laughs> sounds so lame with me saying it whenever we play like video games or whatever it is and we have to or bowling and we have to do a nickname it's always kate thugga it's been that for like 15 years like that is me how did you and your husband meet i don't know which version you may have heard because i've told a couple versions of the story essentially they're all true but i kind of just pick and choose which version i want to tell depending on who I'm talking to. The nitty gritty is we met on Facebook. <laughs> but what I tell people if I don't feel like explaining all that, I just say we met through mutual friends, which is true. We just met through mutual friends on Facebook. And that was when we were like 14, 15, where we were not allowed to be on social media. We were not allowed to be online and what have you, we were. We DM'd, we poked each other. Comment below if you remember poking on Facebook. That is a core millennial memory. Low key, I'm like one year away from being Gen Z. And one of my friends swears that we're considered Gen Z, but I know we're not. So saying millennial is like, oh my God, like now if you say that you're millennial, people automatically think that you're old. Like what's happening? How were you born? How? Um, when are you giving the gremlins a sister? Never. Not, no, just never. My pregnancies feel like I'm so close to death. It's not even funny. I had to be hospitalized a few times. I had at-home healthcare, so I was attached to an IV pole for a majority of my pregnancy. I was in the bed, I quit my job. Like, it was a whole thing. Like, I was depressed. Like, it was quite literally the worst time of my life. And it was worth it because I love my boys. They are the greatest things. You know, I never had a desire to have daughters like i always wanted all boys and i wanted um i just wanted to be a boy mom if y'all see me pregnant again just purely know that it caught us by surprise and i'm probably in a hole dying because of how bad the pregnancies are does desmond have an instagram or tiktok so no desmond is not on social media at all all of our platforms like my instagram my tiktok like it's just me he ended up deleting it because he felt like he was wasting a lot of time browsing but that was before we did it as a job i guess we just both settled that it's just my thing and I post and I do it and he's super supportive and he'll pop in and out and if he wants to do like cooking videos like we do a cooking video but him particularly having social media he's not interested how do you balance being an influencer and a mom slash wife I was just having this conversation with one of my other influencer friends being an influencer is not as easy as people make it out to be no doubt no doubt it's a blessing it's amazing like it has so many ups and so many positives you get a whole bunch of stuff like PR gifts you get to work with your favorite brand a hundred percent like amazing and a blessing but it does have its downfall you have all these people you know commenting on your life being opinionated like commenting on your videos over analyzing you you feel like you need to look perfect you need to be perfect you have to post perfect things um, you have that unspoken pressure, but then like just coming up with content ideas and you know trying to be creative and trying to set yourself apart from other people because you want to do good at your job like that is super demanding. Obviously the content I put out is very specific to my brand, very specific to me as a person. 
Um, but like coming up with these ideas, yes, they're goofy, they're silly, cause that's me. But coming up with these ideas are like so challenging sometimes. Like they will come to me and I've said before, like they'll come to me at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning and I wake up and I'm like in my phone typing notes. But there's these moments and there's these weeks where they don't come to me. I guess I sort of feel like unsuccessful or I feel like I was unproductive for the day. And then of course like, you're a content creator, so you constantly have to be creating. And you may have a good week where you had amazing ideas, they perform well, but then the next week you don't have those ideas or your videos aren't performing amazing. Like there's that stress. And then there's a part where you come up with all these great ideas, they're original, and then people just copy your stuff, they don't give credit. There is some cattiness behind the scenes of like creators just acting really weird. So I just told you the creator side and its challenges. That's just some of them. Of course, there's more, but I won't make this a 60 minute video. Um, but balancing that, then being a mom and a wife, you know, if you're a mom, you already know, like your job is never ending. You're working 24 hours a day, seven days a week as a mom. Like being a mom by itself is a lot, but it's super rewarding, but it has its stresses and struggles. Um, and then being a wife, same thing. So balancing like all these things, being a mom, content creator, a wife, a business owner. It just has its weeks, it has its moments. So it's busy, but nonetheless, I'm grateful, I'm appreciative. I don't ever wanna take anything for granted. So how do I balance all of that? I don't know. Someone said, I really wanna start building my personal brand on social media and even starting a podcast. What are your tips? Podcasts, I don't have any tips cause I've never ventured into that space, but building your own brand on social media, I'll just tell you how I started. So I just kind of went full head in. I was like, look, I'm going to put my all into this when TikTok happened or when I first downloaded TikTok. And the biggest thing for me was consistency, um, establishing what my brand was gonna be. I knew I was a goofy person. I put that into my content. I just saw what people seem to be interested in. Put a few different things out there, you know, and see what resonates with the viewers. And even if it's not getting views, so be it. Keep posting, be consistent. At the beginning, like I didn't, I didn't really try and focus on the followers. I just tried to focus on being consistent and I knew as time went that that would probably come. Keep on posting and try different things. You wanna make sure what you're putting out there is unique to yourself, but also, like I said, something you're passionate about. Next question. All right, someone said, how long have you been doing social media? I've been doing social media for about three years now. I started in March of 2020. When I told Desmond at the time, I was like, look, you know, at that time people weren't really making money on TikTok. I was like, but I feel like I definitely see a future in people making money on TikTok. Like I just had faith in that. And so I was like, if I get to a million followers, Will, will you be supportive of me quitting my job? And he like had to think, he was like, um, I guess like, Let's do it. So I just worked really hard for six months. I posted every single day um, and I got to a million followers in six months and then I quit my job. Before blowing up on social media, what kind of job did you have and what does Desmond do? Before doing social media full time, I worked in IT. So I went to school for computer information systems, which is basically like programming, but I can't say that that job was fulfilling to me. Even though it was a great job and it's what I went to school for, I just didn't feel fulfilled. Like I wanted, I definitely needed to be in a more creative role like what I'm doing now. And Desmond went to school for process technology, which which is basically like chemical engineering maybe. I don't know, it's it's something along those lines. Um, and he actually ended up working in like a supply chain setting, which wasn't directly related with his degree. We also had a business, by the way, let me backtrack. We had a business um, called Meant to Be Films. We still have it. It's a videography, wedding film business. Um, and that was our baby at a time too. And it still is, but we just kind of stepped back and just manage it from afar. So that is what we do now. What are some tips you would advise for a successful marriage? 100% communication. No couple is perfect, but I feel like you can get really close to learning each other and having a really great relationship and successful marriage by having great communication. So ding, communication. Is your husband used to your behavior? Yeah, <laughs> it's safe to say yes. Like the crazy things I do is not 
only for social media. Like I did this stuff from the moment we met. I've always been this type of person to do crazy things and just be super active and be like flipping and jumping around the house. So I say all that to say that yes, Desmond is very used to me. Like he knows that I am a hoot. <laughs> Someone asked, is Weston finally a mama's boy? Yes, he is. Like I, I am glorious that he's a mama's boy now because if you started following us from early on, you know that Weston like hated me. I just don't know. Like he was, he just didn't want anything to do with me. He didn't want to be held by me. He always wanted to be with Desmond. He would roll his eyes at me. He wouldn't want to kiss me. He only wants to kiss Desmond and Vance. Like he just wanted nothing to do with me. And I don't know what switch happened that he all of a sudden started to love me. Like both boys, like they're both mama's boys. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna answer the last question for today is how do you handle the pressure put by society on being a perfect mother? I will say like at the beginning, I used to share the boys a lot, but I quickly realized one thing I didn't like when starting was people's opinions like on the boys or anything mom related or parent related. Because I don't want that pressure and because I don't want those opinions, I just don't share a whole bunch of that. Like I don't share, you know, a whole bunch of my kids and my mom life because now those are the type of opinions that would get to me. So all in all, that pressure doesn't really get to me because like I said, I just don't share a whole bunch of that stuff. So I skipped a lot of questions that were asking me about my glasses collab. So the reason why I skipped those questions is because I'm about to do a try on, get Desmond's reaction as well to what I'm doing. And I just wanna share a little bit more about my glasses collab with Diff and why I love it so much and how hard I've been working on it. So let's do that. So if you don't already know, if you don't know, I launched my own Sunny's collection with, with Diff Eyewear. I've been working on this for probably since earlier this year, and you guys, I was so excited for this launch. I can't believe it's finally here. I am a Sunny's girl. Like, if you know me, I do not leave my house without shades. Like, it is my go-to, it's my thing. And I'm not gonna lie, I love designer shades. So with that in mind, when I designed all of these, I got inspo from Sunny's that I already have, Sunny's that I love, Sunny's I see online. I wanted it to give designer without paying the designer price. Sunnies. Mm -hmm. Is that what you kids are calling it these days? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a quick try on for you guys so I can show you the different styles. The aesthetic is very clean, clean. very chic, Ooh. elevated. Ooh. It's giving, don't talk to me. <laughs> Oh, you got the right pants, baby. <laughs> and honestly, you can dress it up, dress it down. It's one of those things, like even when I'm wearing casual wear like this, if I throw on like a quick hair of Sunny's, like Ooh. immediately don't talk to me. Ooh, yeah, immediately. I'm not about to say nothing to you rocking them. <laughs> We're gonna start with these. So these are the BRB, the Be Right Back. Like, oh. I'm gonna be right back. So don't talk to me until I come back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And I picked up black first because you know how black sunnies are most popular because they go with anything, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter what color you're wearing, just boom. But if you want to spice it up, if you want to spice it up, I got the tortoise shades. The to what? Which this tortoise. Have you never oh, heard of that? Yes. I thought those but imagine this. You have jeans, they're like relaxed fit, like kind of 90s vibe. And then like a fitted bodysuit, white or cream Ooh. or beige. Ooh, taupe. Boom. Or toe. Oh, your boy, this guy is a dressing king. Boom. So the last color I have these sunnies in is this kind of beige or cream color. I feel like this would be good for like, if you're wearing all black. I mean, obviously you could pretty much put this with anything, but like all black and this is your pop, say less. Say nothing say at all. No. <laughs> so next we have the TTYL, the talk to you later. This, I'm gonna talk to you later. Oh snap. Is that I'm why gonna you talk had to you later. on the other day? Exactly. Oh, that's <laughs> So these are like more rectangular. This shape I feel like looks good on anyone. And y'all know I'm obsessed with olive green. If you didn't know, now you know. I love me some olive green. So I wanted to like throw that in with these shades. 
And this is like perfect for fall. Like Girl, these shades right here got the colors in here making me wanna get, get a get comfy takeout. <laughs> I feel like these are very modern, fun. This is giving energy, like catch you when I can. So these come in four different shades. I feel like because these are just will look good on pretty much anyone, I wanted to do all colors in this one. So you see the green. Okay. We got the cream. Oh, okay. We got the Jesus is good. The tortoise. <laughs> of course, classic black. Goes with anything. Yeah, I Now for our last pair. So this pair, I went pretty out of the box for me because I wanted to do something a little different for my comfortability. And also, I've always wanted like oval shades. Oh, nice. And I couldn't find the correct oval for what I was looking for. So I was like, oh. Why not create it? Now this, my friends, is the on my way. Oh, that's on my way. That's I want to talk to you. Huh. I'm coming. And you wear it at the tip of your nose for extra theatrics. Wait, what is that your arms doing? You're hula hooping with your arms? I'm on my way. I'm swinging the whip. I mean, if you drive like that, <laughs> y'all need to watch out on the road. And I love how these have like a slight metallic little detail little right finish. here on the edges. Metallic. Finish. And if you thought it couldn't get any better, I have them in green. This Olive. Fire. That green is fire. Oh, we got socks in the picture. Who On the beach. beach. Like, ta da, give me my drink. Okay, so my favorite thing about this collection, this collab, is that with every purchase, you help give someone. <laughs> You help give someone in need the gift of sight through eye exams, surgeries, glasses, medicine. This is why they call it DIFF Charitable Eyewear because you are helping someone with every purchase and I just love that for us. I'm about to be right back. <laughs> I'm about to be right back. <laughs> so I will put the link to this collection in my bio, in the caption, in the comments. You'll find it somewhere. Boom, it'll pop up right here. <laughs> and make sure you tag me when you get them, post in them. Uh, it feels like my baby. I feel so excited about it. And I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on these. Let me know what you think. And by the way, y'all know I love to test things. I've already put these to the test. You might have already seen my YouTube short or my reel or my TikTok. They have been put to the test. All right, guys, so that's the end of today's YouTube video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to check out my glasses collection, make sure you click that link and comment below what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you all in my next video.